Hello friends, welcome back. This is Manish Pandey. Today in this video, I'm going to talk about tags in Walk Queue. I'm going to show you how to create tags in Walk Queue items while adding data to queue. So what is tag in Walk Queue? A tag is an additional information assigned to a Walk Queue item for reference. Tag can be used to identify the queue item steps and it can be added and removed at any stage. For example, I'm going to show you about the use of this tag in Walk Queue. So let's say there is a process of loan origination. So there are seven stages in loan origination. That is pre-qualification process, loan application process, application processing stage, underwriting process stage, credit decision stage, quality check, and then at the last loan funding. So these are the stages we have in the loan origination. And if you are working on a project and your work queue name or like your work queue based on this loan origination. So in that one, let's say you have this loan origination stages and you have application number. So for the first time, your application number, the stage is pre-qualification process. And once it will start from step by step, it will go to loan application, application processing, underwriting process, credit decision, like that, like step one, step two, step three. So what you can do, you can assign these stages, this step, this process to your specific item. So let's say one loan application, there is application number, someone has applied for a loan. So there will be loan or the application number, right? So first time stages of the loan origination is the pre-qualification process. It means this is the first process. So first time this first step pre-qualification process tag will be assigned to the that application number. Now once it will move to the loan application part, so that item step will be loan application, right? So you have multiple stages every time based on the steps. Let's say first part completed pre-qualification process completed. So you will remove that tag. You will go to loan application. So you will add this tag to the specific application number, a specific loan application number, a specific queue item. Now once loan application part completed, uh, that step will move further to application processing, right? So you will remove that tag from that specific item and you will add a new tag that is application processing. Again, after that, it will go to underwriting processing. So it will remove the older one and add a new underwriting processing. So step by step, it will move further. And once you will complete the quality check and loan funding, so it will go to the last loan funding. So it means loan has been given to the person who required the loan. So here, let's say we have this Excel file and we have around 10 application number. And for the first time, let's say all these 10 applicants, they have applied for loan and first time this is under pre-qualification process step, right? So whenever you will add item to queue, you will add these first step as a first tag, right? I'm going to show you how to assign these application steps to that specific queue item as a tag. And now we are going to use the same step, which is for add items to queue. And now in the add items to queue, now I'm going to use another I'm going to use another queue name and what is that queue name? That queue name is now we are going to use this one loan origination underscore queue. So we'll now change here loan origination underscore queue. We'll take this one. Now we'll take data from same order collection because we have just updated our data in the same order sample excel file so it will take data from here it will add here now we have this application number that we are going to take it as a item key so what we'll do we'll go to this system tab and then walk queue click on this loan origination queue and then we have to update this one now what we need to do double click on this add items to queue action now here there is a option, there is a parameter, input parameter that is tags. So how can we pass that first stages of the loan origination to this tag? So all these items, what will happen? These items will be added to work queue. And I want to 
assign these application steps to that specific all these items as a tags so i will take this name and here we'll take this order collection because we are going to take it from here and then dot and this field name now click ok and now we are ready to run that close this and right click set next stage increase the debug speed and then right click here and run to this stage so what will happen it will read that excel data add to the collection here in this collection and it will add that specific data to the queue with the tag okay so this is done you can see here in the order collections now in the current value we have all these application number and we have all these loan amounts and we have all these steps of the loan origination stages right so there are seven stages so first stages initially we have added to that specific all these queue items reset this go to walk queue right click refresh and now you can see here now we have added tags this pre-qualification process tag to each walk queue items now we have added here and now next time whenever you will start working on that while getting the next item you can check only you are going to work on the data where the tag is pre-qualification so if tag is pre-qualification it will go to work on only next step like it will go to the second stage and third stage like that if the tag is loan application so it will start from the third stage like that so this is the use of tags in walk queue and i hope you understood what is the use of this tag there are lots of examples uh, we have we can consider as a tag so i hope this is useful if so please like this video and please subscribe this channel if you have not subscribed yet thank you so much for watching this video if you want to learn ui path rpa then you can visit my youtube channel youtube.com slash ui path rpa if you want to learn blue prism from udemy so i have created one course for blue prism rpa complete course on udemy so you can go there and you can purchase that course and you can get the certificate from there i will enter the the referral code and the link in the video description you can go through that i hope you like that one thank you so much for watching this video